rise and shine. It's currently 5 a.m. Because I've got such a busy day, I'm like, I kind of wanted the extra sleep, like just to get a few more minutes. Cause I feel better already. Oh, it's only half five. Anyway, I am gonna get up straight away and get some work done. I, this is the reason why I wake up so early. It's not for any other reason. It's just so I can get like a couple of hours of work done. I actually made this wallpaper myself, by the way. Can I get, can I please get some appreciation for this? Because I literally made, like I put that leaf there, put all the squares there. These are all my um, modules. Like for some reason, the desktop has like moved them around. I had like all of these things were like organized in each, in each thing, but it's, it's moved it around. I don't know why. I'm quite happy to know that I'm not the only one with a disgusting amount of tabs. This is me on a good day. One of the TikTok I made that went viral, viral, like nearly a million views, was literally about the tabs. So I feel like that is a common thing. Like, it's not just me that has a crazy amount of tabs. All right, I'm gonna stop chatting away and instead I'm gonna do some questionanos on past medicine. Oh, forgot to show you. Obviously, in the morning, I also take my tablets. I've shown this in another video, but I don't know. I guess it's a morning routine, so I wanted to show you guys what I take again. Um, the mysterious pink tablet, the mysterious silver tablet. I also take some hair growth tablet, and then I also have the last mysterious silver tablet, which is for anxiety. Yes, I do drink out of a jug. I do drink out of a jug. You drink so much water when you drink out of a jug. Also, I don't like to drink out of a water bottle when I'm like at home in my room because I'm, I, like, I, f I forget my water bottle and I leave it here and I need it. Like, so I just leave my water bottle in my bag. And then when I'm at home, I drink out of a jug. As you can see, it is days away. My exam is days away. Absolutely days away. I'm, I'm crapping myself. I'm honestly so nervous, but let me just get cracking on some questions. I'm so done with myself, so I'm literally in the middle of the questions. I had like the best streak going, like look at all of these ones that are right. And then, bloody question 32. I'm just about to hit um, half past six, so normally around now I'll do a quick workout and then I'll get in the shower and get dressed. I don't, I don't work out for that long. I know you probably should like get an hour in, but I just don't have the time, I'm not gonna lie. I tend to do like a 10 minute one or a 20 minute. I rarely, rarely ever work out for more than 20 minutes. So this is the one that I do by um cassie ho it's so good i literally still have my pe shorts from like primary school you know those black ones with like the stripes i still have them i wear them whenever i do my workout i actually know the words like that is how bad it is mm -hmm. the whole plate of air I should probably find a new workout at this point. I can literally do it without even the video. So that is workout all done. It's so quick, it's so quick. It's only 10 minutes, but I honestly like my abs are hurting. I'm gonna go shower now and then I'll be back. And just like that, she is ready and dressed. So I've put on um, half of my placement wear. So I've got on these smart trousers, obviously, kind of like you wear with like a shirt. And then I've also got on a sports bra, pretty much because they've just emailed me actually. The timetable's changed and I need to be in for 2 p.m. And it's only like seven-ish now. So I've got pretty much all morning and after lunch to like get some work done, study, revise. I didn't want to put on my smart shirt yet. I get sweaty. I, I literally, half of the reason why I'm anxious on placement is because I'm like, have I got sweat patches? Like a peek and people see my armpits. Like there's sweat there. Like, I just stress. Yeah, I've just gotten this sports bra from Primark. So I'm kind of hungry. It's, as I showed you earlier, uh, just after seven. I'm gonna quickly make some breakfast, but I am gonna light a little candle. I don't do this every single day, but candles, if you know me, candles, me and candles, I like that. So I'll put this one on and I'll make some breakfast. I tend to watch like a little YouTube video as I'm getting ready. This morning I was watching um, Beauty Spectrum, or like Molly Thompson, I think she's called now. Um, she's just an easy go-to like 
comfort youtuber to be fair it used to be nella rose i'm sure i've said this in the video before my my comfort youtuber used to be nella rose but she doesn't really post anymore which is proper sad so sometimes yeah i'll just watch like anyone really anyone who just easy to watch they cheer me up make me happy take my mind off exam my vision my room is also an awful awful mess i'm gonna tidy it up later on i've literally got stuff all over the floor in my bed as well i'll tidy that up i'm actually so hungry so i'm gonna have some breakfast um, I'm sure I've said before on a video, but I am like a part-time vegan. Like when it comes to breakfast and stuff, I'll just have. It tends to be a smoothie because smoothies are quick and easy. Um, I don't really want a smoothie actually. I think I might have beans on toast. That is another go-to breakfast for me. I actually love beans on toast. I know it's a bit of like. I know it's not for everyone. Like some people see it as like you having beans on toast, but I actually love it. Like it's a comfort food for me. So these are the beans that I'm having. These are, I think they're from Aldi, I can't remember. They're not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. The ones that are in the black tin, I don't know what brand it is, but the, oh, I'll try and find a picture, even though literally no one cares, but the ones in the black tin are so nice. This one has quite a lot of bean juice in it. Like I always have to like pour out the bean juice. Here we have the masterpiece. The toast is a little bit burnt, I'm not gonna lie. It will still taste great, I'm sure. So right now it's eight o'clock. I've just had breakfast. What I think I'm gonna do now is do a bit of journaling. I do this not every single morning, but I try and do it most mornings. This is actually the notebook that Stephen Bartlett signed. Normally, if I was at, uh, if I was meant to be at placement for like nine o'clock, I'd leave around about now. Um, I'd probably spend the rest of the morning just tidying up my room, or I would do a bit more studying. Or um, another major thing is I try not to use my phone much in the morning. Like I've set my phone to basically not show me anything until like um, I think nine o'clock. Or back in the day, it was like twelve. Like I wouldn't check anything until like after lunch. I don't really do that anymore because it's just there's so much to reply to. But I try to just have the morning to focus and not really look at my phone. So I've given my room a super quick tidy, pretty much all the mess that's on my bed um, and the box that was there. I'm staying over, over at a friend's house, so I've got my bags packed, but I need to add a few other bits. Uh, my desk is still a mess, but it's a desk, so it's always gonna be messy. I went to a summer school back in the day when I was in like year 12. It was at Lancaster Uni. Shout out anyone at Lancaster. And it was pretty much like be a medical student for a week, like see if you like medicine, see what it was like, that sort of thing. And one of the girls there, she was so cool. I hope she's like living her best life right now because honestly, she was so cool when I met her. She had these flashcards. This girl, she like had these for chemistry. She did like A-level chemistry, obviously for medicine. And she would like attach them to her belt loops. And like, whenever we had like a break or like on lunch, she would like use her belt loop flashcards and like she'd flick through them. It was the coolest thing. <laughs> I, I don't have the bravery to have these on my belt loops and be like a really cool like trendy student but i'll give you a quick ootd before i bring this video to a close but thank you so much for watching and i can't believe it's my last day of placement of year three it's crazy good morning guys today's my last official day of placement which is crazy like it's the last day of placement because next week my exams start i've got oh, on these cameras if it says like if, if the battery's flashing it's on its last legs. Two days to go. Two days. Two days. Who, who remembers that um, that episode of Love Island where Anna was like, two days. This camera, you wouldn't think I spent hundreds of pounds on it and saved up for it for months, would you? It doesn't like to focus. Am I just gonna be blurry? I'm stressed because I have to wear gray scrubs and we all know gray is the worst color for sweat patches. Do you know what? I bet, I bet the examiner is gonna see me like, oh yeah, like raising my arm, like trying to get the patient to like raise their arms and they're just gonna see these, these massive sweat patches. But back in the day when I was on Tinder, I used to be like the worst person to go on dates with. Like honestly, I feel bad looking back. I feel bad for all the guys that were like, because honestly like I probably traumatized them